Hello, hello. Welcome to One Piece Chapter 1109 Review. The chapter title is Termination. Last week's chapter ended on quite the banger note, so if this week's chapter is picking up from where it left off, we are going to get some massive revelations about the world of One Piece, some epic level lore drops. So let's see if that's going to be the case here. So we have our title page. It's Onikashima. Yep, and it's underwater. And it's a cover story. Cover story number 26, A Submerged Onikashima. So we've got a cover story going on. And it's set in Wano. Onikashima, Submerged. That's going to be a very interesting cover story to see take place. Note from Oda. I went to Shibuya to get a taste of some monyaki. Mon, monjayaki goodness. But there were long lines everywhere, so I gave up. Is it really that popular there? That's interesting. A message to the world. Stella, is this wise, Zaza? Even if you brought, even if you set this broadcast to start suddenly, it may not work. Hmm. What do you mean, Shaka? We're counting too much on people being ready to receive and relay this. He. You know how, you know how it is worth. You know how it is with information. Agencies always spread the news around the world by the next day. So this is Shaka and Vegapunk talking while Vegapunk is setting up the recording. You think so? But what if someone intercepts or censors our message? What the... And now it looks like we're back at the present because we've got because we've got a shot of the marine ships outside of Egghead looking on. What the? Where is this broadcast coming from? It's coming from every ship's transponder snail. You're right. Any suggestions? And so we've got two things going on here. We've got the Let's see, is this, yeah, I believe this is the recording playing, so the recording is playing, and it's playing through all of the transponder snails around, so it's playing through the transponder snails on the marine ships, and the marines are scrambling, trying to figure out where it's coming from and how to shut it down, so we're, this is back to the message. We could piggyback off the Navy's comms traffic. We've got naval officers shouting, cut the connection. That's the thing, we can't. Then back to the message. That would allow us to force a worldwide constant broadcast with our signal strength at maximum. Now I've got a shot of Luffy back with Kizaru and Saturn. And he's going, hmm, noticing. I see. That'll make it possible for anyone with a transponder snail to receive our initial voice message. But they'll still need a while to prepare their visual transponder snails. The times to set up that will vary from place to place. Now we've got a close-up of Saturn's face and he's thinking, what are you planning to say, Vegapunk? Let's take an interval of one hour. Now we've got Usopp, Nami, and Chopper, and Edison. Usopp is listening in, Nami's listening in, and she says, that's Vegapunk, right? Back to recording, an hour? That's too long. Don't you realize what will happen in that time? Then Chopper says, where is this coming from? Why now? 
there are people who won't be pleased when we start this broadcast. They may find a way to terminate it before we finish. Ah, fair point. In that case, let's set the preparation interval to... And then we've got Marines here opening fire on some giant, on a giant, and the giant is attacking the Marines. 10 minutes. Now we're back to Sanji and Vegapunk. Sanji is listening and he's holding Vegapunk. Vegapunk, that's your voice, right? Hey, Vegapunk is unconscious. Now the message, people of the world. Back to Saturn's face and he's shocked with the exclamation marks. Uh-oh, now we're going to the holy land of Mary Joie. What is this transmission? What is the meaning of this, Saturn? Have you dealt with Vegapunk? He's already delivered a killing blow. I saw it myself. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So this Gorosir commuting telepath communicating telepathically from this distance. Interesting. So they can communicate telepathically. That's a new one. So Saturn is communicating with the other Gorosir in Mary Joie telepathically. Saturn, have you dealt with Vegapunk? He's already delivered a killing blow. I saw it myself. Hmm. He should be dead. Could he have set up a dead man switch? So that this message would play upon the death of his main body? That seems likely. We have no way of knowing what he'll say. Now this top man, if we can just pinpoint the source of this broadcast, then there's Shepard. The only location that seems plausible is the lab of Stratum on Egghead, but it's currently protected by that barrier of his. Then back to the message, what should we do for the remaining nine and a half minutes? Cut, tap. We could get inventing, there's so, we could get inventing, there's so much to do. How about some coffee? Now we're going to dress Rosa. Did you hear that? This is Dr. Vegapunk we're talking about. If he's trying to tell the entire world something, it must be a big deal. Get a visual transponder snail out here. Put up a screen. Hurry, we only have 10 minutes. And now we've got Rebecca, Leo, there's uh, Kratos, or Curios, Curios. The wise man, Luffy Land, kidnapped. What's happening? Oh, the wise man, Luffy, kidnapped. What's happening? Don't tell me you guys trusted another bad article about Lucy. I could also calculate the probability of interference happening. I've got to get the video ready. Is that Vegapunk? Fusa Village in the East Blues. So Luffy's hometown. What's this all about? I thought it was just going to be more news bad-mouthing Luffy. A visual transponder snail? If only the village had one. How about it, Mayor? Who's going to pay for that? Raising it wouldn't be free, you know? Isn't having an audio enough? Uh. So we've got Party's Bar. The Mayor. Watcher 7 in the Grand Line. Wake up, this can't be good. 
an iceberg waking up. Yawn. Alish, prepare to prepare to screen the message. Yes, Mr. President, it's already playing in the next room. Are already playing in the room next door. Screens for each dock are also being prepared. It's nighttime, but considering the importance of this event, a summons has been issued, notifying all citizens to be at the screen within 10 minutes. Is there anything else? There's a little info box for Iceberg Secretary Alish. And the mouse, Tyrannosaurus, sitting on her head. She's giving a report to Iceberg, who's looking groggy like he just woke up. Now we have the Economic World Journal floating in the sky. What's with this feed? It's being re relayed through Navy frequencies, but it's unencrypted. And there's Vivi speaking. Where are Luffy San and the others? Don't be a ditz. Look at the clock. Look at the clock in the background. That isn't the current time at Egghead. This must have been pre-recorded. After all, the buster call is bound to have reduced the island to a sea of flames by now. Says Morgan's looking at the transmission. And Vivi's there. Wapple's looking on too. Looking very sad. The West Blue. It's Dr. Vegapunk in the flesh. I heard his mind was a cut above the rest, but this is what I expected. We've got the North Blue, the man who lit up the world, the South Blue. He's going through all this trouble. What does he want the world to know? It might be the invention of the century or something. And now the Kamabaka Queendom. So we'll see the revolutionaries. It'll take 10 minutes to brew the coffee. I won't get a sip in. I see the probability of interference in this time frame is exceedingly low. Then Ivankov. What is Vegapunk up to now? More importantly, has he lost his head? And the rest of the revolutionaries are looking on. So that's Dr. Vegapunk. So that's the Dr. Vegapunk everyone's always talking about. He's quite the man to do this in the middle of a crisis. Got Sabo and Koala. And uh, is that Bella Betty? That's not Bella Betty. I think that's one of the new recruits. We've got Morley and Lindbergh. There's Dragon saying nothing. I think I'll be dead soon. Dragon remembering the transmission from Shaka saying, I think I'll be dead soon. Now we're back to Egghead. There's Luffy, Gear 5, smiling. Looks like my punches don't damage you. Then we have close-up shot of Saturn's eye. Is he using his power or is he just glaring? Not entirely sure. Then we get Saturn using one of his legs to try and attack Luffy. And Kizaru firing laser from his eyes because Luffy's got him. Luffy's got him in his hand. He's gripping him. So now we know Saturn can fire lasers from his eyes. Luffy leans back so both of their attacks miss him. Erk. I'm not letting you two run off. And he's, Luffy's keeping his grip on them. Not till I'm sure my friends have escaped. Gum gum, booming dawn.
and he's stretching his arms back while he's doing this. And his hands have are pushing, his giant hands are pushing Kizaru and now pushing Saturn, pushing them both from behind towards each other. Symbol. And he has clapped Kizaru and Saturn together between his hands and a giant clap. So Blooming Dawn symbol, that's a new attack. Now we get another shot. There's lots of damage to the surrounding area. Luffy moves his hands and there's a flattened Kizaru and Saturn the star swirling around their heads. And now Luffy is sticking his finger under their flattened bodies and twirling them around, spinning them like pizza dough. Since you too, or since you keep getting better no matter what, since you keep getting better no matter what, I'll send you flying. We're good. And now he spun them like frisbees, sent them flying. Toss. Marines are looking on. He threw something. Hmm? Ooh, ah, and Did Kizaru and Saturn crash into the ship? Or have they just sliced through it? Either way, this marine ship is toast. And Luffy's laughing. Yeah! <laughs> Shift. So this is Saturn. Looks like Saturn. He's still spinning. Huh? So it looks like Saturn was able to shift his momentum so now he's come spinning back towards Luffy and now he's unflattened and he's aiming trying to aim his legs at Luffy he's still spinning Luffy has a shocked expression huh what's it gonna take to keep you down now he's looking mad with the steam coming out of his nose okay back on the Navy ship Kizari san what in the world happened? Are you alright? Admiral. Huff, huff. And Kizaru's laying down on the ground. He's got his arm covering his eyes. He's breathing heavy. There's no time. Saturn. You cannot allow Vegapunk to speak freely. Whoa, that was a close call. Luffy's dodging the attacks from Saturn. He's still spinning and he's firing off all of his legs. Rapid fire attack. Now we've got the giants. There it is, our ship. I hope Vegapunk and the others are all right. Now we've got Saturn. Close up at his face. I shall perform the summoning very well. Zap. Now we've got that black lightning again from Saturn. Zapping. Is it him? Or the island that is zapping? Either way, a massive bolt of black lightning hitting Egghead. The Marines are shocked. What the? Black lightning? And okay, Black Lightning. He's Saturn is standing there. Now he's on the ground. His legs are firmly planted on the ground. I think Luffy is over there reacting, shocked. The Black Lightning is hitting the ground in multiple spots, and it looks like. 
portals are opening. Yes, these are, let's see, it's one, two, three, is that four, four? Is Saturn summoning the other elders? So all five of them are gonna appear on this island at once? Okay, I was not expecting that. This is actually just the thought of Vegapunk revealing the truth of the world was a big thing. Last week, I thought that would be the climax, but it looks like there's still a climax to come because if this is correct, if I'm interpreting this right, there's all the same kind of summoning sigils that summon Saturn. So the most logical conclusion is that he is summoning the other elders or something similar to them. But I don't think there's anything else in the world that would come from these summoning circles. So far, the only thing we've seen to come from these summoning circles is the elders. So, is he summoning the other four elders to island? And are they just going to, I don't know, rampage on the island to somehow stop the transmission? Because what else could he be summoning other than the elders? The summoning circles seem to be the elders specific method of transportation. But there's still a few more panels left in the chapter. Luffy shocked with the eyes popping out of his head. What's going on? We've got a shot of Sanji carrying Vegapunk and he turns around noticing the lightning. What the hell? It's just like when that spider geezer appeared. The planets are aligning. Chapter end. Break next week. Okay, so yes, that caption, the planets are aligning. It's definitely the other elders. So all five elders on the island at once. And they're all going to be in their monster forms, assumably, because Saturn appeared in his monster form. And from the transmission, the telepathic communication, they established that they suspect the transmission is coming from the lab of stratum. So they're all here. They're going to attack the lab of stratum and destroy that because they believe that will stop the message from going out. That's their goal here. They believe that Vegapunk is already dead, but Maybe they'll try to confirm it. Maybe they won't. So all five elders already here on Egghead. I think this means that we're definitely looking at a situation where no, none of the elders are going to be defeated here. because Saturn, Luffy hasn't figured out how to actually damage Saturn in a way that he won't recover. So he can't take on five elders all having that same kind of regenerative ability slash durability. And that is assuming that they're all at the same level of power that the other elders could be stronger than Saturn. Either way, you can't deal with all five of them. They are on the island. I don't think anyone else can really match them. Luffy's goal, he said when he was 
attacking Kizaru and Saturn. His goal was not to let was to not let them get away so that his friends could safely get off the island. Let's see what we've got. Score back up. Still haven't seen Robin. The announcement hasn't gone off, which What's a possibility that wouldn't go off? But we see that the world government works really fast when it comes to shutting down that information. They move at a lightning pace. Like at the start of the chapter, the broadcast was starting. They had a 10 minute timer. In that time, while fighting with Luffy, Saturn telepathically communicated with the other elders. And I guess they put together a plan here. Or at least started thinking about formulating what the plan would ultimately be. When it looked like the transmission was going to happen, that nothing they could do with the power they have on the island so far could stop the transmission. Saturn performed the summoning to summon the other elders. So all five of them on the island, I think it's all five because I could see four definite portals and then one in the back. It's a little bit blurrier than the others, but it definitely looks like a portal there. So I'm going to say it's all yeah it's got to be the, all for the other elders so off of them here we're going to see their forms which is interesting i didn't think we get all five of the elders monster forms so quickly but it's good that we have We'll get more clues from seeing the powers of the other elders. And I wonder if this point, at this point, it'll confirm that they're devil fruits, but maybe. I mean, looking at the power, it has to be devil fruit. At this point, we've seen Saturn transform into what appears to be a full spider form or closer to a full spider form. Since if Saturn has a devil fruit, if the elders have devil fruits, they're most definitely mythical zone devil fruits, which means they have at least three forms. They could possibly have more if it's possible for devil fruit users if maybe they're honed enough in their skilled enough with their fruits to access more forms similar to choppers points or this could just be saturn in his full spider form those are the two options here that this is a between form Perhaps based on the mythical abilities of his fruit, or it's just plain his full on spider form. That also means the others are all zones, mythical zone. And if they are, then what is this teleportation deal and this black lightning? There are powers here that just, they haven't been seen before from mythical zones, but they could be, hmm. Could it be a set, like a set of five mythical zone type devil fruits that are a set together? Which is why they have telepathic 
psychic link and the summoning circle and the black lightning let's call the share traits if they're like quintuplet devil fruits we've never had a case of like twin devil fruits before so that's kind of an outside possibility other possibility is that this is something unrelated to their devil fruits it's actually some type of magic or maybe hockey even though this is kind of out there for hockey i mean we know that hockey can do sort of a sort of communication link sort of deal but it's hmm because that's sort of what Shanks did to Green Bull on Wano used his hockey to be communicate with Green Bull so perhaps if one ho one's hockey is strong enough, it can communicate over even longer distances. So hockey could explain the psychic communication between Saturn and the other elders. If they all have like super duper advanced hockey, then they could psychically communicate. So that's one thing. The summoning circles, though. It's not any hockey we've ever seen before. So my thinking is still that that has to be related to devil fruit powers. Or it could be something entirely new. A new kind of power. But, so we've got the five elders. It's obvious what the what they're going to do on the island. Their goal is to destroy the lab of stratum and stop the transmission. The transmission has already been set up. I think it has to go off. Does it have to go off? I mean, now that the elders are all in action, I'm kind of getting the feeling that the chances of the transmission going through and completely playing and revealing everything is now at like 50% max because I could see a situation where the elders destroy the lab with stratum and stop the broadcast and the straw hats get away from egghead and that would be the end of the arc yes it's a possibility but That's a possibility, but it doesn't, it sort of cuts short the whole world shaking, world changing event that takes place on Egghead. So, what I'm thinking is that the arrival of the elders has put a timer on the message itself. So, Vegapunk is going probably my thinking is that Vegapunk is going to get out half the message, maybe most of the message, and then the lab of stratum will be destroyed and the message will be cut off before Vegapunk finishes the message completely. So maybe whatever the final details of his message would probably be the biggest reveals of all will be cut off by the elders so just enough information probably any information that Vegapunk gives at this point would be enough to shake the world but if he gets through most of his message that's definitely world shaking 
and it will cut off. The elders destroy the lab of stratum. Metrage is cut off. Luffy and the others escape the island because that will probably be the Straw Hat's focus when the elders are all busy worrying about getting to Labo Stratum and destroying it. But is that where Usopp, Nami, and Chopper are and Robin? Why are they still at the Labo Stratum? And Zoro. Well, Zoro's not at the Labo Stratum. He should be. Yeah, they're not at the Labo Stratum. What are they? I need to go back into the previous chapters. I don't think they're at the Labo Stratum. Looks like they're trying to work their way towards the boat, towards the sunny. That's a recording going off. Buster Call destroys Egghead. Because, yeah, we've got the setup for the announcement for Vegapunk. So there has to be some payoff for it. So the payoff will be that most of the message gets played and the elders are able to stop it before the final part is played, which is probably the most important part. But it will still be enough to shake up the world global world shaking event straw hats can get off the island and it has to be during that time because if the straw hats aren't off the island by the time the message is done playing or the elders destroy the lab of stratum and stop the message from playing the elders will then turn all of their focus and their rage and their full force onto the straw hats on the island. And at that point, I feel like escape is probably not possible. It might still be possible, but there might have to be some deaths, some sacrifices to slow down the elders and give the straw hats opportunity to escape. Because the Giants, I don't think the Giants can fight the Elders. The Giants are there to escort the Straw Hats off of Egghead to Elbath. And if the Elders know that the Straw Hats are heading, if they learn that the Straw Hats are heading to Elabath after this, they will probably give pursuit. Because if the Straw Hats get off with the stellar bodies or some of the satellites, then the world government will need to pursue to complete the goal of killing Vegapunk and making sure that what he knows doesn't get out. We have a seen York, but York safety is probably assured at this point.
Five elders. And the barrier around the lava stratum, how will they destroy that? Just with their power? With the combined force of their power, could they break the barrier and destroy the lava stratum? Maybe that's what their plan is here. And if that's the case, that definitely provides an opportunity for the Straw Hats to escape the island. Because the Elders would have to concentrate all their power on breaking the barrier and getting to the Labosphere and stopping the message. I think that's the most likely scenario here. Because any of this scenario just makes it like, any of this scenario makes it super duper hard for the Straw Hats to get off of Egghead safely. And with Vegapunk or any of the stellar bodies. Like things were already looking kind of hairy and they were looking a little bit better. And now they're looking really, really hairy again. The hairiest they've looked. And still, if all five villages are here, there's no force we've seen so far on the One Piece world that could come in and help the Straw Hats. Like, maybe the other Yonko, possibly? But we already know that Shanks is not showing up on the island. The Giants being here kind of serve as that proxy for Shanks. So there's no need for Shanks to show up at the island. Blackbeard. We already know what Blackbeard was here for. But that actually brings up another thought. Katarina Devon's mission here was to touch Saturn. If the Blackbeard Pirates, if Van Auger and Katarina Devon learn that the other elders have all landed here, does she need, does Blackbeard need Katarina Devon to touch all of the elders? Or is one elder enough for whatever he's planning? If, if Van Auger, if we see Katarina and Van Auger and they learn that the other elders on the island and their first thought is to get off the island, then that means that either A, they just know that they're overwhelmed and they're afraid but they should have been known they were overwhelmed and been afraid with just Saturn on the island. So that doesn't check out as much. Or B, which I think would be more likely, is they leave because they know they've already accomplished their mission. All they needed was for Katarina to touch one of the elders. Doesn't matter which one. For Blackbeard to carry out whatever plan, whatever he's planning. So next chapter, we will have to see if we get any pages or panels looking at Katarina Devon and Van Alger and what their reactions are. And if they're like, great, now we don't have to worry about hunting down the other four elders at different situations. We can get all five of them right now. Or if the reaction is, Let's get off the island. We already have what we need. We even got the bonus of Caribou and whatever information he will have for Blackbeard that he surely wants to know. So let's get off the island. Then we will know that they only needed to touch one elder for whatever Blackbeard is planning. I feel like that might be the case here. 
because I don't think we're going to spend too, too long with the elders here on the island active. Because I feel like the longer the elders are here on the island active and it's not focused all on the one goal of stopping the transmission, the more dangerous it becomes for everyone on the island. And it's interesting, the elders didn't want to tell Eam about any of this. Is it because they... Hmm. Because they didn't want Eam to know about this event taking place? Or is it because they don't think, hmm, they don't think it would matter to you, or it could be because they know that the mother frame can't be used right now because they just used it to destroy Elysia, or Eam just used it to destroy Elysia, so it, whatever its power source is, doesn't have enough juice to come and destroy Egghead. Hmm. That could be it. But it's interesting that they decided to take this on themselves and not involve Eam at all. At least so far. But whew, if we're getting the Elder Reveals all up. All five in this one arc. Does that mean we could be getting the reveal for Eam soon as well? That seems like it could be a possibility. But I feel like Eam as the final one and the true highest person in the world, the true ruler of the world, that reveal has to still be a little bit farther off. I don't think Eam would be revealed in this arc. But if some wild chance Eam is revealed early, it will probably be during this arc. And if Eam isn't revealed in this arc, I feel like Eam won't be revealed Elbaf, maybe depending on what the arc after Elbaf is, maybe Eam could be revealed there. Or Eam's reveal is being saved for the end game. Those are the three options here. I feel like the most likely at this point is Eam being revealed at the end game because we're already revealing the elders here. They don't really matter as much as the Eam. They matter a lot, but the entire, this entire section of the final saga has been related to revealing stuff, information about the warlords. Or, excuse me, not information about the elders. We got their names. We got what aspects of the government they are responsible for controlling. We got a lot about Saturn, his past, and his relationships with characters relating around Egghead. We're going to get the reveal of all of them, their powers. Then perhaps in future arcs, you will get to see, like, what relations, if any, the other four elders have with people in the world. 
and how their responsibilities affect the world. Because I feel like we could still get sort of that information from the elders over the next few story arcs. Because now that we've revealed the elders, we can have them be a little bit more active in the story. Now, not too much more active, but a little bit more active enough to get sort of a full sense of them. And then save the Eam reveal for the end game. Hmm. Interesting. The communication between the elders. The barrier. We've got some interesting locations picked out. Vice versa. Fusha Village. Water Seven. The Economic World Journal. Then we have the Four Blues. Well, not the four blues, actually. Wait. We got the west blue, north blue, south blue. Of course, Fuchsia Village is in the east blue, but they didn't show the east blue as a whole, just Fuchsia Village. Small detail. But of course, we've got the Kamabaka Queendom with the revolutionaries. We've got Booming Dawn Symbol. Which is a really great attack. Very, very fitting for Gear 5. Smash them into pancakes and then... Spin and twirl their flattened bodies and toss them like frisbees. They shall perform the summoning. Okay, so that is probably going to be it. Really big chapter. Not as big as it would have been if Vegapunk had been able to drop the information in this chapter. But it's still quite big because we get the setup for the review of the other four elders. In the next chapter, we are probably going to get Vicapunk's message starting to broadcast and revealing some information. Because let's see what we let's look at the timer. When Egg when Vegapunk last spoke, I think he said it was still about 
Nine minutes left. It'll take ten minutes to brew the coffee. I won't get a sip in. So the ten minutes haven't elapsed yet. And it didn't give a time for how much time has elapsed. From the way they're talking, it's almost as if almost no time has elapsed here. Which I suppose that's possible. Because we're just seeing everyone's immediate reaction to seeing the broadcast start. And Vicapunk is just sort of talking, waiting the 10 minutes. Talking about how they're going to wait out the 10 minutes. But I feel like this is already our countdown chapter here. Countdown to the announcement. Of course, this could be just the prologue to the countdown to the announcements. And the countdown to the announcement starts in the next chapter. Because perhaps the countdown to the announcement would be also be the countdown to the end of the arc. If those two things are in sync, then okay, I can see the Vegapunk message not being revealed in the next chapter. It'll be revealed by the end of the next few chapters. And the final chapter of the Egghead arc will be the message dropping or as much of the message dropping as possible before the elders are able to shut down the broadcast. And that can coincide with the Straw Hats escaping from the island. So that is a possibility. And the other possibility is we'll get the lore drop and the elders shutting things down in the very next chapter. And I feel like that or something close to that has to happen because we're going into a break this week. Break this week. Then we'll get the big drop. The Elder reveals. And then the rest of the arc will be them escaping the island and perhaps world reaction. Because we've had a small taste of the reaction so far, but because the One Piece world is so large, there are lots of reactions that people would be happy to see. Happy plus reactions that fans would be happy to see. Reactions to this broadcast from Vegapunk. Especially depending on how much information about the world and the nature of the world he is able to get out before the broadcast is shut down. So that is a, another good possibility, but as I said, it's a very good chapter, good setup, rat, a peak, another apex. I think it's going to be the final apex, but the way this arc has been wrapping up, it could go even higher. I don't know how it could possibly go even higher. We have the elders here. The only thing that could be crazier than the elders here would be if Shanks did drop off on the island or Blackbeard or Eam, something like that. Maybe God's Knights, but I feel like God's Knights aren't as, they aren't as big a drop in my mind as the drop of all five elders here at once on the island that is massive so with that thank you so much for watching please like and comment and subscribe and i will catch you all in two weeks 
with the next chapter, and that will be chapter 1110. Nice round number. Maybe something special for this chapter. 1110. That kind of feels like something Oda would do. Of course, the chapter after that is 1111. So maybe that chapter is where Oda will make the massive drop. Either way, that's going to be it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.